In this section we're going to start looking at translating from mathematical terminology written out in words into actual algebraic expressions. So where we're going with this is we're trying to build our skills for being able to answer various types of story problems. So um, first of all, um, I think one thing that would be useful to do before going through the videos for this section is to, in your book, go through examples one through eight. Um, and examples one through eight just show a lot of different ways that the mathematical operations of addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division are said in words. Okay, and so that'll just give you an idea of all the different types of words to look out for when you're trying to translate an expression. But here we have four different expressions to translate. So let's start with the first one. It says translate five less than three times a number into an algebraic expression. So um, one thing that I suggest is to kind of take these problems in two stages. The first stage would be to, first of all, take all the numbers that are written in words and write those um, using numerals. So instead of the, the number five, I'm gonna put the numeral five and less than, right? So if, if they give a phrase um, that can be written in a more explicit way, you might wanna do that. So what does less than mean? Well, it means subtraction, right? So less than would be the same as subtracted from. You take less than something, you're subtracting from something. And then uh, three times a number. I like, I like times still, so times. And then instead of a number, um, the fact that they're saying a number means we don't know what the number is, and so we're gonna use a variable there. Okay, so five subtracted from three times x. Now, since it says subtracted from, we know that if you're gonna subtract from something, the something needs to be there first. So we're gonna put three times x first, and so we can write that as just three x, and then we are subtracting five from that. And so this here is our algebraic expression that we get from translating this word phrase. All right, let's look at this one. The difference of eight and twice a number. So again, the difference of, that should indicate subtraction. And remember, whenever we say the difference of, you just write the subtraction in the order that the terms are given. Okay, so um, I think the difference of is fine. So we'll say difference of, and I'll use the number eight, and twice a number. Twice something means two times, so I'll say two, times a number, well, we'll use x once again. So the difference of eight and two times x, keep the same order, eight minus two x. And so there's our algebraic expression translated right there. Okay. All right, so it says four times the sum of a number and six. Okay, so four times is pretty explicit, so we'll write that out, times, Okay, now it says the sum of a number and six. So anytime we say something like times, and then instead of having a number or, um, you know, or an unknown come right after it, it gives a set of instructions, right? It says four times the sum, right? The sum is a set of instructions telling you to add things. So anytime there's a set of instructions that come after some other command, what you wanna do is put in parentheses what you're going to take the sum of in this case. So we need to take the sum before we can take four times what comes next. So when I say the sum of a number and six, the way we'll write that is parentheses a number plus six. And so of course that turns into four times x plus six. So four, if it said four times x plus six, or four times a number plus six, then it would just be four x 
plus six. But since it says four times the sum of, that means we need to take the sum of those things first and then multiply by four. Okay, so now this one says the sum of four times a number and six. All right, so the sum of, we're gonna add. What are we gonna add? Four times a number and six. So here we end up looking like this. Four times a number plus six. So you see we gotta really pay attention to the words used uh, because we get two things that look very similar but are actually quite different from one another. So again, uh, if we have a set of instructions after some other command like times or divided by or something like that, then make sure that command is executed with parentheses around the things that we are going to add or subtract or whatever the case may be.